So this is a before and after. Um, so basically I'm just going to show you how I got this look right here. First I started with my brows. I used the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil and I just shaped them out and filled them in. And here I used my Essence Brow Gel and I just set my brow in place. And then I take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and basically I just carve out my brows with that. And then I will take it and put it on my eyelids and use that as my eyeshadow base and I will just blend that out with a sponge. So I'm using the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I am using the shade Tongue Pop and using that as my transition shade. So I am just popping that in the crease so all our other shadows blend very well. Um, and just continuing to blend in. <laughs> now I'm taking the shade Prick and I'm using that in my crease as well to give it a pop of red. And my mom came in and she was taking stuff from my desk, so. <laughs> and now I'm using the dark brown shade, which is Intravenous. And I'm just popping that on the outer corner here to give it some depth. And now I'm going back in with that original transition shade just to make sure everything is blended out. And now I'm taking the Flower Beauty um, Warrior Liquid Shadow. It's this beautiful gold shade and I'm popping that all over my lid. And then I'm going to use a brush just to get a little bit more precise and detailed. Just blending those shadows out again and then just putting a small line of eyeliner on the top of my lid. And I put my lashes on off camera. <laughs> Um, so now I am using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer and just putting that all over my face. And now I'm using this Catrice Liquid Foundation and I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face because it has a little dropper there. And now I'm just using my Real Technique sponge and I am just blending everything out. And using that ColourPop No Filter Concealer again underneath my eyes, down the center of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. And then I'm using this Wet n Wild Contour Stick as well. And then just using that same sponge, just blend it all out. And now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M536 in my Rimmel Stay Matte press powder and just press anywhere I put that concealer so it doesn't move around. So on my chin, under eyes for sure, and a little bit on my forehead. And then adding some bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks, um, as well as the temples of my forehead and along the jawline as well, and on the sides of my nose. Taking these two blushes here from Makeup Revolution and just popping those on the apples of my cheeks, um, and then just kind of dragging it back so slightly. And now using my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Summer, I'm just popping that on my cheekbones, down my nose, and my Cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin and my forehead as well. And going back into the Jeffree Star palette, I am taking that dark shade Intravenous and putting that on my lower lash line in the outer corner. Um, so we can connect it to the top part of the outer corner, just so everything looks blended and smoked out a little bit. And then I am popping some highlight in my inner corner as well. And using that same highlight to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going in with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara to blend in my real lashes with my falsies and then putting it on the lower lash line as well. And now I'm going to put on the Morphe lipstick in the shade Honey, and then I'm going to top that with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Neat Freak. And now setting my face with the iconic London Illuminating Mist. And taking my sponge again just to blend everything together one last time. And I'm so extra so I'm popping on more highlighter after I use the mist. So that is it. So this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching.